What's going on guys? My name is Dylan and I'm back with another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys five of my favorite music video effects. Uh, these effects aren't in order or anything. Um, these are just effects that I like to use and I think look good. I'm going to put the time codes down in the description. So you guys, if you guys want to see a certain effect that you guys saw in the intro, you guys can just skip right to that. And without further ado, let's jump in Resolve and I'll show you guys how to do it. Alright guys, so once you have DaVinci opened up, I just have five clips right here on my timeline. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the first effect. So for the first effect, it's just kind of a flash. You guys can do this a ton of different ways. You guys can kind of stylize this. You guys can change the color. You guys can really... There's just really a ton of ways to do this, but I'm just going to show you guys how I did it for the intro. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to drag a solid color onto the timeline, and I'm just going to scale this down to size. I'm going to click on that, and I'm just going to make this solid color white, and I'm going to go in a few frames, and just cut this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go frame by frame and cut each frame. And that's pretty good. I'm just gonna cut the end off. And then basically what you're gonna wanna do is just delete every other one. and then it kind of gives this cool little flash effect. All right guys, for the next effect, what you're gonna wanna do is click on the clip, hold option, drag it up to duplicate it, and I'm just gonna duplicate it one more time. You guys don't have to duplicate it twice, you guys can duplicate it more times. It's really up to you on how you guys wanna do this. There's a ton of ways to kind of stylize this effect and kind of make this your own, but this is just how I'm gonna do it. So basically what I'm going to want to do is, let me just hide this video track for right now. And I'm just going to want to reposition the second one. I'm going to move it over a little bit. I'm going to move it down a little bit. And then I'm just going to turn the opacity down a little bit. I'm going to put it down to around, around 40 seems pretty good. And then I'm going to go on the first video track, just enable that, go on the first video track. And I'm actually going to move it the other way. And then I'm just going to move it up just a little bit. And I'm going to turn the opacity down to around about the same, around 40. So then what you're going to want to do is, let me just zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of cut these. So I'm going to start the effect around right here. And I'm going to cut both of these. And then I'm going to go about three frames. And I'm going to cut the top one. And then I'm also going to cut the bottom one. And then I'm going to go another three frames. I'm going to cut both of these, go another three frames just cut these again and then I'm just going to delete the ends of these and then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to delete this one I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to delete that one so it gives a cool kind of little ghost effect and you guys can kind of play around with that you guys can duplicate these again so if you guys want to you guys can duplicate these again Kind of go for similar, just this one's a little bit longer. You guys can kind of play around with this. All right guys, for the next effect, I'm actually just gonna delete these because this one's more of a transition, but it's also kind of an effect. Basically, what I'm gonna wanna do is just zoom in on this, and I have actually a full tutorial on how to do this effect more in depth, and I'll put a link in the description if you guys wanna check that out. But basically what I'm going to want to do is go on my second clip, go one frame over, make a cut, and I'm going to hold option and drag up just to make a duplicate. I'm going to right click, change clip speed, freeze frame that, 
and then just drag this over a little bit. I'm gonna put this about right here. And then I'm gonna go on the color panel, hold down option S, which creates a new node, right click, add an alpha output, and connect the two lines. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in on this a little bit. I'm gonna go on the mask window, and I'm just gonna actually make an outline of your subject or whatever you're trying to do this with. It doesn't have to be with a subject, it could be with an object. Really, it just depends on how you guys wanna use this effect. So I'm just gonna make a mask of my subject. Alright guys, so once you have your mask, I'm actually just going to feather this a good amount. I'm going to put it to about 2.5. Alright guys, so once we have our mask, we're going to want to go to the very front of where we made our cut and we're going to click on our top clip and we're going to make a keyframe for zoom and for position. And then we're going to go to the end. And I'm going to zoom this. I'm gonna move him over a little bit. I'm gonna move him up a good amount. And I'm gonna scale him down a little bit. All right, so then as we can see, he kind of zooms in. And it's just a cool little morph effect to kind of blend the two clips a lot better. Alright guys, so for the next effect, I'm going to hold option to duplicate this. And I'm going to duplicate this about four times. And I'm going to go to the point that I want this to start. I'm going to make a cut. And I'm just going to delete both of these. And then I'm going to go in a few frames and I'm going to cut both of these, delete these. So I'm only working with this one right now and I'm just going to scale this one down. Let me go to the start so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to scale this one down to about, I'll scale it down to about point five go on the next clip and I'm gonna go another few frames and I'm gonna cut the top layer and I'm gonna go on this clip and I'm gonna scale this one down even more so I'm gonna put this about let's see what looks good I'm gonna leave it about 0.7 and I'm gonna go on the next clip and I'm gonna scale this one down even more. I'm gonna put this one about 0.5, I think looks pretty good. And then you guys can kind of do the same thing. So you guys can kind of cut your clips. So this one's gonna be the shortest. So I'm gonna cut this one again. I'm gonna delete that one. Go a few more frames. All right, so I can go a few more frames over. Let me zoom in a little bit and I'm going to cut this clip. All right, then I'm going to go a few more frames over and I'm going to make a cut on the last clip. So then as you guys can see, it goes down and then it just slowly comes back in. Alright guys, for the last effect, this is going to be just a really simple punch-in effect. What you're going to want to do is go on the clip and under the inspector panel for transform, you're going to want to make a keyframe where you want to start it. You're going to want to make a keyframe for zoom um, and position. And then you're going to make a keyframe there, go over two frames, two to three frames. I'm actually going to do three frames and I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. We kind of adjust the position, move this up, and you guys can kind of stylize this, you know what I mean? And um, if you guys want to go in super far, it's going to be no more noticeable if you guys um, just make this super 
gradual, then it's going to be not as noticeable, but it'll just add a little bit of flair to some of your clips. And then once you have that, then you're going to go over another two to three keyframes. I'm going to go over three, and then you're just going to want to reset these. Make a keyframe on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss an upload. Until tomorrow, guys.